Welcome to the video documentation of Chart.js. So Chart.js is really wonderful. And on this side, we just focus on how to make more videos helping you to understand Chart.js. And in this video, we're going to focus on the polar area chart. So the polar area chart is a chart that is by me, myself, personally hardly used at all. And if you are one who are using it, please let me know why you are using it, because I'm quite curious for what's the real purpose of it. For me, we don't have it uh, much for our websites and our dashboards. However, polar area chart is basically a pie chart with a radar, radar chart combined. So this is a combination of those two. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly create one and we have a ready code that you can copy and paste to create a polar area chart in a matter of seconds. So let's go here. So go to the website here. You can see this is the website here. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here a piece of code ready. Just ignore everything else. You can see here, this is the entire code here. And we're going to use this code to put in a polar area chart. So if you look here right now, refreshes, this is all blank and this is basically the page we're going to work on. It's an HTML page. You can see this is the HTML editor, nothing on here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and then we go here to the file here and then we go to the editor. Just save this in here. Let's save this. And once you save this, what happened is the following. Let's refresh the page and you will see instantly this appear. So it pops up here nicely. So you see the polar area chart is showing up. And now what we want to do is we want to add up a new slice to this polar area chart. And what we want to do is we want to create a new one named August. We want to give this a nice aqua color. So how can we do this? Well, very simple. Let's go back to our codes here. And you can see here all the details of the codes. And what we want to focus on now is basically we want to add up a new slice. Yes, and the new slice in a polar area chart will be named August. So you can see here we have the labels. And in the labels, we're going to put in August. Next, what we will do is we have the background color. And we're going to put in here a new color here as well. And we say here the background color will be aqua. And you can give it anything you want. You can even give it different ways. You can use hex codes or whatever you want. So uh, ED, ED or whatever. That's just like a grayish color, but no need. Right now, we're going to focus on a nice color chart. So we say aqua. All right. So once we have that, the border color, we leave the border color white. Once we have that, we're going to add up another piece here, on the, which is the data. And the data will determine how big the slice of our polar area chart will be. So let's say this will be, let's make this a humongous slice of 50 points. Let's save this. And once we save this, we go back here and refresh. And you can see now, and there's no animation right now, but you can see this is a huge slice that dominates almost everything in the polar area chart. And that's basically how you can create a polar area chart. You can adjust this to whatever you want. And this is really, really useful and very simple to work with. And basically, this is how you can do it. So if you like this and you'd like to know even more about it, check out the website. The website has, I'm adding more and more data at a time. Plus, if you're really ready for it, just check out the Chart.js course. It's a master course. Go deep in every item of Chart.js where we're going to focus on colors. We're going to focus on the tooltips, the legend. And if you are one of those data lovers, you will love the dashboard and how to connect with the my. SQL database and how you can get data from from your database. That's really phenomenal. So explore that as well if you're ready for the more advanced version.